Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 25th coaching log on the UConn Coaching Experience module. Um, today I'm going to look at who's influenced me so far this season. Um, kind of what, why I, I value their opinion. Um, kind of who I've developed rapports with and, and who I've taken ideas off and, and why kind of stuff. Because I feel like that's really important that as a coach you're open to criticism and feedback and, and developing reports with other coaches because you never know later on they might be able to offer you a job or a promotion that could be really crucial to your next step. Um, but also because it should help to build a, a friendly, you know, developing environment. Um, I feel like that's really important, even for the kids as well, that they can see that the coaches bounce well off each other and that they're free to, you know, to explore their creative license in a way. So to start off with the person, a person who's influenced me so far as my assistant, um, creating a, a rapport with them has been crucial. Obviously, you know we appreciate each other, each other's opinions and ideas and values, and we try and kind of put them into a big boiling pot and, and mix them together and and produce the best outcome we can. Um, just purely that that we get on well is really important because we're not afraid to say, "Why well, have you done that?" or "Or I maybe would have done it this way," and we can understand each other's opinions and appreciate them and I feel like that's really what helped us develop a good group environment and that his influence on me has been really valuable because he think brings in new ideas and methodologies whereas I bring in you know different environment uh, methodologies and, and sessions as well so in order kind of the help that he's uh, adding to my sessions and, and my overall coaching has been really valuable and I'd hope that I have the same impact on him as well. Secondly, um, probably the bosses have I, I who have an influence on me so far this season. Um, obviously, looking at ways to improve for me has been really crucial and a, quite a, a keystone that I've implemented throughout this module is that I'm always looking for ways to improve um, and I'm in con regular contact with them for opportunities to develop and and opportunities to go with a higher age group to, with, to a Man United or a Man City game and, and just observe what's happening and, and I feel like that having their influence on me has really helped you know I've really stepped up my professionalism this year and, and my quality of um, my quality of coaching has really gone up and I'm really impressed with how I'm doing so far in comparison to last season and I, I only want to keep improving again but it's also f important for me that they have an influence because I'm always looking for feedback to, well to receive feedback as well from from people higher up as well um, research done by Amarose and Nolan Sellers in 2016 um, kind of highlighted that coaches should coaches should provide high frequencies of positive and inf in informational feedback so kind of always if they're observing my sessions, kind of dropping them a quick message after and just saying, what did you think of that? How could it have been improved? And, and then responding to me really helps because my next session, I'll try and implement that um, or I'll try a different idea that they may suggest or, you know, if it's positive, I'm always looking to improve on it as well. And I feel like that's a really crucial influence for me because, you know, I'm trying to impress them as well as put on the good sessions for the players. I am trying to impress them and get, get noticed as well for, for a, a higher job. Um, and so creating that influence and bond with the coaches with the with the boss as well um, has been a really beneficial factor for me this year uh, finally obviously the most probably the most important one is the players you know the influence that they have on me is just as important as the influence that I have on them um, I'm always looking for feedback on what they enjoy how they learn best who works well together who doesn't work quite as well together Um so all that kind of environmental factors, they have an influence on the session I deliver and, you know, the topic that I pick and the groups I select. Um, so kind of tailoring my session around the group has become based around what influence are, what influences are occurring in the environment. Um, and I feel like it's it's been really successful this season. We've kind of got it right most of the time, me and, me and my assistant. You know, we have back and forward discussions about who works well, who's who's striving, striving ahead at the moment, who's maybe lacking behind a bit and needs a bit more one-to-one -one assistance. 
um, and all in all, them three them three influences are, are really having a positive impact uh, on the season so far for me.